Today we received a question from a new customer about how to record the face value for mint sheets in their Canada collection. Although EasyStamp already has built-in face value reporting and tracking, this customer wanted to keep separate face, value, uh, face values for their uh, mint sheets. This is easily accomplished using the custom fields option in EasyStamp and then adding that custom field to any report. Let's uh, delve into it and I will show you how simple this really is. First we're going to be working with the Canada database but the process is the same for uh, any of our databases. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our custom field which we'll call mint sheet face value or MSFV. So let's do that. We go to the utility menu, custom fields editor, and then we're going to add our new field. So we're going to click on the plus sign and now we're going to give it a name. So the short form I'm going to call MS underscore FV for mint sheet face value. And then I'll give it the display name. And then we need to choose the data type. Since this is a value we want to use a currency field and we want this uh, to be available on reports and we click OK. So now we have a field defined, uh, a custom field defined as MF, MSFV. And once we save it. Okay. Now what we need to do is display the custom fields window so we can enter uh, some data into it. So we go to the view menu, custom fields window and there it is, and we can move it anywhere we want, but I'm going to just kind of keep it in the bottom corner here. Um, I've already entered some data into a, a, uh, this sample database here, so I'm going to run a mint sheets report to see the data that we've entered. So if I go to reports, inventory, mint sheets report, I've entered five, five items, and there they are right there and I've entered some quantities and values. Okay, so let's go back to the first entry in this database. So this one here, so I'm going to enter the face value for this. These are sheets of 50, so that would be 2.5. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to go to the next one. Again, that would be 2.5. Again, that's a sheet of 50, so that'll be $4. And then the last one will be 250 again. Okay, so now I've entered the, the custom field values that I want for this uh, database. So now that we've entered the data, we'll add a new field to the Mint Sheets report by creating a copy of the Mint Sheets report through the profile editor so that we can see it on reports. So what we do is we go to the reports menu, report profile editor, and we're going to choose the default Mint Sheets report. Now an important thing to keep in mind is um, you cannot make changes to any supplied reports. You must make a copy of them and then make changes uh, to the copy and save it as we'll do here. So I'm going to call this, uh, sorry, I'm going to save it first so I have to click on save as and then what I always do is I put the word my preceding the titles so we know that this is an edited copy. You can use whatever uh, terminology you want but I would suggest just using my in front of these uh, two fields here. Okay, so now I've saved this new report and now I need to add the new fields. So we click on the fields tab and then click edit and now we're going to locate and find our new field which should be here. Um, there it is, mint sheet face value. So I just double click on it and put it on the report and then we'll save it and then we'll save this. 
So now if we go and run that Mint Sheets report again, this time we're going to change the report profile to use the one that we just created, not the default one, but the one that we just made. And click on Find and Show. So now we have like we had before, but now we have the face value that we had entered into the system. In this way, you can add an unlimited number of fields and functionality to EasyStamp. It's a very powerful tool. It's unlimited, um, so you can do pretty much whatever you want to do with those custom fields. That's it for today. Let us know if there are any other videos you would like us to create, and we'll sign off until the next time.